Okay. Oh. All right. Praise the Lord, everybody. The Lord. Bless the Lord today. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. How's everybody doing today? Blessed. Blessed and highly favored. Hallelujah. Well, we are few in number today, but that is all right. We are going to get it started with our prayer from our sister, Levon. Amen. He's going to come on up and bless us with our prayer. And we'll move right on. Hallelujah. Praise God. All right. Well, Father, we thank you today in the name of Jesus, Lord. We thank you for this day, Lord. This is the day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it, Father. Father, I thank you, Father, for your favor, Father. I thank you, Lord, for the, for the blessings that come from the north, south, east, and east, and west, Father. I thank you, Lord, that you have protected us thus far, Father. Lord, that you have rooted up and destroyed everything that the enemy has tried to plant, Father. Father, today I lift up all of our elected officials today, Father. I lift up everybody in our, local, uh, in our local government, Father, that they have the wisdom in the heart of you, Father. Lord, I lift up our president today, uh, Joe Biden, Father, and, and, and uh, Kamala Harris in the name of Jesus, Father. I lift up Donald Trump today, Father. I lift him up, Father, that you will protect him, Father, that, Lord, no weapon that was formed against him shall prosper, Father. I thank you, Lord, that no matter what the um, so-called government affiliation is, Father, Lord, you are a protector of those who need to be protected, Father. And we thank you, Lord, that his life is saved and spared, Father. Now, Father, we call an end to all the violence, Father, and all the, the isms, Father, that's going on across this nation, Father. Lord, you said you would lift up a standard against those who speak vile things and try to do vile things. Father, we pray that no weapon formed against the body of Christ shall prosper, Father. We pray, Father, that your word goes forward uninterrupted and unhindered by any satanic or demonic force. Father, I thank you, Lord, that we are blessed, Father. I thank you for this service, Father. I thank you for our speaker on this morning. I thank you for the singers on this morning. I thank you for the prayer warriors on this morning. Father, that, Lord, this place is a house of prayer. Father, bless this church, Lord. Bless the owners of the building, Father. Bless them all in the name of Jesus, Father, that this will become a light thing, Father. That, Lord, there will be no burdens, Father. That, Lord, we are doing your work, and, Father, your provision is bountiful. Father, we thank you, Lord. Thank you for all these things, Lord. Now, Lord, allow us to bask in your glory, Father, as this word and this fellowship and the singing goes forward, Lord. Lord, may we have an awesome word today. Lord, that will be life-changing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Now, we have our greetings in the announcement. Well, no, we don't. We're going to have a song first. All right. We're going to have a song, and then we'll have our greeting in the announcements. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, let's give God some glory. Hallelujah. Praise God. Come on and clap your hands. Glory to God. God, we praise you. We lift you. We adore you because you alone are worthy of our praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Say, oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Hallelujah. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Hallelujah. Say, oh, give thanks unto 
the Lord, for he is good. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. For he is serve you today, Lord. Lord Jesus, I thank you, angels, for showing up. I thank you that every seat is filled in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father, that it doesn't matter, Father, that it says we're two or three are gathered. You ain't the middle. So, Father, I pray for a supernatural anointing in this place today. For those who are faithful. Now, I'm going to be honest. I was really hoping some folk were going to be here so I could give away some money. But, but they ain't show up, so that's all right. We'll that's keep it moving. Right. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. That's all right. 
So now we're going to get our announcements and our greetings from my sister, Levon Stone. Y'all come on up. Minister Levon Stone. Amen, amen, amen. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for being in the land of the living. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As I sat in for First Lady, Devotion on Higher Learning has Sunday school every Sunday here at 301 Honey Creek Road, Southeast Conyers, Georgia. Our Sunday school began promptly at 11 a.m. until 11.50 a.m. Come out and join us. The Bible teaching is so interesting and it's led by none other than our brother, Deacon Major. We quickly transition into, from our morning service to come in to the sanctuary. Our service in the sanctuary begins at 12.15 p.m. We value your physical presence in our service. As the Bible say, and let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds. Not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing but encouraging one another and all the more as you will see the days approaching. Hebrew 10 24 25 said we invite you to come out and join us live I'll say it again live in the service. We have a weekly Bible study every Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. via Zoom. Our Zoom information is on our website, realdealministry.com. You will see it through the page. Make plans, everyone, to join us. Our Bible studies are not just interactive, but also it's a great opportunity for personal growth, sparking some interest in communication about the Word of God. Amen. Devotion has what we call a Savage Morning Bible Study, led by our Pastor Dawson. This is scheduled for Saturday morning at 9.30 a.m. This meeting is also on Zoom and they and it's used by the same line as our Wednesday Bible study. Again, you can, you can locate our Zoom information on our website at realdealministry.com. We also have a women ministry led by Minister Crystal E. Dawson. Our meetings are held quarterly throughout the year. Our next meeting is scheduled for July 27, 2024, here at the church in the fellowship hall from 12 noon to 1.30 p.m. Light refreshments will be served afterwards. Our topic of discussion for the meeting is, is trust and wills. I'll say it again. Trust and wills. First Lady Barbara Noel of Trinity Baptist Church is a retired judge and attorney, and she will be sharing with us the importance of having a true and a last will in a statement. Come out and join us from this very needed and information meeting. Devotion. How Learning will join our friends at Rise Again Ministry on Sa Sunday, July 21st, 2024. That will, again, I would say devotion will meet us at Rise Again Ministry on Sunday, July 21st, 2024 for their passive 10th appreciation 
Amen. Bishop Dorsey will deliver the message at 11 o'clock. We will not be here this Sunday at Devotion House Sunday, Higher Learning. Join us at Rise Again Ministry in Atlanta, Georgia, for service with uh, Pastor Donald Sawyer. Amen. Please keep in your thoughts and prayers our sick and shutting Sister Audrey Major and Mother Sherman. May God add a blessing to the reading of the application of the greetings. Thank you. Have a great day. Praise God for those announcements and greetings. Now we're going to move on to testimony service. Anybody have a testimony, two minutes, they want to give? Anybody? Amen. Amen. Anybody else? Amen. I thank the Lord for being here. Amen. I could be anywhere right now if I didn't have the mind of Christ. Amen. I thank God every day that today is a good day. Amen. This is the day that he made. Yes, sir. And I'm going to keep saying that this is the day that he made. So yes, whatever he has to come against me, whatever the devil has to come against me, he has to answer to the one that created me. Amen. You know what? But you know what I got to do? I got to open my mouth. And I have to speak those things that God put on the inside of me through reading the word, through studying the word, to show myself the truth. You know, when Jesus was brought up uh, after he fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, you know, the devil tried to use the word of God to, to bat him down. He didn't, he didn't just say things off the wall. He actually tried to use, twist the scripture to get Jesus to, to sin. But Jesus said, get behind me, Satan, for it is written. Man shall not live by bread alone. Amen. Amen. Well, at this time, we're going to go to our time and offering. If you prepare that, uh, there are several ways you can give. Uh, we have the, uh, the Cash App, and we have the PayPal, and those, uh, those uh, QR codes are on the uh, back of the uh, program, or inside the program. And so we pray that you will uh, heed accordingly at this time. Our songstress, Lorraine Dawson, is going to come and give us a two-song selection, yes. which after that, after that, we will have a scripture reading, and then a um, hymn of meditation, and then we'll hear our speaker for today. Amen. All right. Praise God.
Praise 
Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the reading of the word. Praise God. And again, thank you for those songs. I know who I am. My name, my name is Victor. Next time the devil comes to you and asks you, who do you think you are? You open your mouth and you say, my name is Victor. And matter of fact, your name is Defeat Devil. Because when all is said and done, you lose, Jack. You lose. Well, you know what? It is time for the most important part of the service. It's time for the word. I say it's time for the word. Amen. 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 This brother here, my brother, Brother Winfrey, Deacon Winfrey. I tell you, we go back and uh, him and his queen, Audrey. Amen. And uh, man, I tell you, he's a guy that's one of a kind. You won't find a better gentleman yes. than Winfrey Majors. That's right. You won't right. find a better servant yes. Yes. than Winfrey Majors. Right. In spite of all that he's been through, yes. he's here. Thank you. And you know, when, and I, I'm, I'm just going to tell you, there's only a few people that I respond to when they come to church. I don't respond to many people because a lot of people with theology jacked up. So I, a lot of people, I don't, I, there's nothing, uh, nothing personal. It's just that, you know, sometimes you learn things and you refuse to unlearn. But I'm gonna tell you something, when this brother called me, I'm here. I'm not going to sugarcoat, this is my brother. This is my brother and, and his queen is my sister. And I stand on that forever. So we're going to have one more song from Sister Dawson. And then right after she sings the next voice, you hear me of that of Deacon. When Mr. Minister, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to move you up the scale here, brother. <laughs> All right. Next voice you'll hear after Sister Dawson will be Minister. Winfrey Majors. God bless. Amen. Praise God. Come on, Sister. Pray. Come on, Sister. Your 
to tell about your goodness. Thank you for another opportunity to tell how wonderful and great you are. Lord, I ask you, Father God, to bless me to give a word that you have to give, that you can know that you shall deserve. Lord, I thank you, I praise you, I thank you, I ask you, Father God, I ask you to continue to bless my family members here. Thank you, Father God, for helping me like that on the way. And Father God, you bless my first lady pastor over in Vegas. Yes. Bring him home safely, Father. Watch him take care. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Y'all may be seated. Guys, I just want to thank you for the seat. This is my spiritual family. Amen. I'm serious. This is my ride by spiritual family here, y'all. And I thank God for them. And this, this is something like a spiritual family. When you call them, they live for you. Amen. And I thank God for you. Now, as my sister did so beautifully, all the daughters. My Lord, my God. Y'all got to excuse me because I'm, I'm, I'm going to pray some by myself because, whoo, because I'm victory. Because victory is my name. But you know, as to where we are today, I want to talk on um, God's faithfulness and God's spirit. But what I want to do first, before I even get started, I want to go to 2 Chronicles 7 to 14, which I know everybody knows. And in the number one today, it says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear from them. I will forgive their sins. And I will hear their name. And for what today, guys, if we in the bad shape in our world today. I mean, my sister did it so in South School, so mama, we are seeing more stuff coming together in Revelations as before. But before I get into this, I want to talk about as we are victory. We got the victory. Because God's faith is great. Now we go from Psalms, we go from Psalms 103, which states, Bless the Lord, O my soul. Yes, sir. And all that's within me. Bless his holy name. Yes. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And forget that all is finished. Let's stop right there. Don't get all is finished. 
There are benefits in this job. There are benefits in serving God. There are mm, nice benefits in serving God. As we look at it, it says here, we want to express praise and thanksgiving to God for what he had done for us. And God grant us with so many privileges. But we go down to number three, it says, who forgive us all our iniquities. Yes. Now, we in the Old Testament, Christ came here to die for us. That's right. But what? He forgive us for all our iniquities, all our sins. Yes. So somebody had to pay this debt. Somebody had to fix it for us. Yes. Somebody <laughs> had to come in and do the thing for us. Because see, back in the Old Testament, we were on the railway train. We put some on it every, every year, but we can pay in full. Then he says, and Paul says, He who redeemed your life from destruction, who crowned you with loving kindness and tender mercies, he holds back justice. Holding back. Even though I'm guilty, I did it, y'all. I said, I did it. I committed it. I did all that stuff. But he held it back. He held it back. Forgive my iniquities. And then it says, the Lord has to righteousness and judgment who all who are oppressed. So therefore, you like we got victory. That's what people are saying. We got victory. So they sing the song, so you try to oppress me. God got me. What did God tell Abraham? I will bless those who bless you. I will curse those who curse you. I am passing Abraham. So therefore, I get that benefit. I get that benefit. And he says, the Lord is merciful and gracious. That's my sister saying, slow the anger. And the bad mercy, see, God gets angry, but he's slow with it. Slow with it. Come on, somebody. He'll get you like that. Okay, I'm, I'm going to hold up on you, brother, baby. Okay, I'm going to hold up on you. Okay, I'm going to hold up on you. He's slow to anger. And abounding in grace and mercy. Now, we got mercy and Jesus ain't came that guy. Come on, if I'm trying to get y'all a secret. We got grace and mercy and Jesus ain't came here. The price they paid yet, we got grace and mercy. Mm. Now, it says the man, he will not always strive with us, nor will his anger forever. So he's gonna get you, y'all. He's gonna get you. He's gonna get you. But you just gotta remember your, 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 your faithfulness. And number 10 says, he has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor punished us according to our iniquities. He ain't dealt with me because I looked at that woman or I stole that or I committed adultery. He held back on me. Because he said, Brother May, this is my child and I love you. Even though you, you, you are guilty, you are guilty. According to the law, I am guilty. But grace since I'm righteous, I'm sanctified. Come on, somebody. Come on. And then we'll go here and say this. For as heaven is above the earth, so great is your mercy towards us. As far as east is from the west, he has removed the transgressions from the soul. Our sins, he removed from the east to the west. And we know they never touch. They never touch. That's how much you love me. You see, I, I don't do such no more. I move from the east to the west. I don't know no more. And then it says here, in my next verse, for he knows our frame and he remembers where we are dust. That's where we came from. As a man, his days are like grass, as flowers of the field are furnished. As a man, 
Oh, there's a number. We all got a signed number, a signed day. When I never come up, and we're going to see Jesus. That day, you ain't going to be late for. That is guaranteed. So our days are numbered. Amen. Preach, man. But it says, for the wind passed over it and does and gone. And it passes and remember it no more. So therefore, I'm telling you, as saints of God, we might pass on, but we got to make this one. We got to leave something for our children, grandchildren, or those who come with us after us. That is saying, Sister Joshua sung that song beautiful. Sister LeBron preached that sermon. Brother Fred preached that sermon. Brother Ralph preached that sermon. Brother, I, you got to leave a legacy behind, guys. Huh? For the next generation. Because what? We are victory. We are victory. And remember this. But the mercy of God is from everlasting to everlasting. Let me say that again. The mercy of God is from everlasting. To everlast. Only for those who feel it. Let me stress that. Only for those who feel it. What's fear? Respect. Ah. You got respect. Only for those who respect. Because God's faith is the greatest of our faithfulness. See one thing, guys? God don't take a holiday. That's right. Like your New Year's Day, your birthday. We kind of sit back and do that. But God don't take a holiday. He's faithful. Now, great is our faithfulness. God has been so good to us, guys. So good to us. And let me go through a couple of scenarios in the Bible. I'm going to set it down. Y'all remember the three Hebrew boys Meshach, Meshach, and Bath of Bad Uh one in the, in, the, in the fire furnace because they refused to bow. But they, they had a victory system. They know who they belong to. And the people in the fire guy, he said, if he got you, I'll still cut off. Thank you, Lord. But what happened? When they put him in there, the people, the men who put him in there, they died. But when they put him in there, the king said, we need to put three in the box and four. I see four, y'all. And the fuck was nothing like it. Nothing like it. The son of God. And then when they took him out, they took my son. We're going to pray. Dog gone. They had no burns on. It wasn't like an air condition. And God blessed him. See, guys, you got to know who you belong to. When you're going through trials and tribulations. Though it may not look good sometimes. Yeah. You got to know what you're If you don't do it, it's better off. Because if I'm, if I'm asking the body, I'm ready to go. And then I got to know what I want to say talk to you about. Brother Daniel. Uh -huh. When they told him not to pray. And that's how I'm praying to my God. Because, sister, I got the picture. I love that song. <laughs> I got the picture. And he prayed. And then they, they, they set him up. They set him up to try to get that. And the king loved that. And the king wrote a decree that he could not supersede. Because he said, I got a ring. So they called Daniel praying. And he brought the king said, Well, you said in your decree, anybody don't pray to God? You go to the Bible, I mean, put the lines to you. Now, prior to that, they ain't been the lines. They make sure they were good at home. They make sure they were good at home. So, when they do what that did, he was gone. But look at God. Look at God. They got down. They put him in there. And God locked the lines down. Now, they were strong, hungry, and everything. But he could, could, couldn't, couldn't touch God's anointing. That's like us. When we go through stuff, guys, and they try to get you, they can't touch God's anointing. That's right. Because who you belong to? Because success, I got the picture. Success in this. I got the picture. Because I know where I belong. 
Because he fought me. He fought me, guys. Everybody out of the way. Who, Jesus? I know who I belong to. And then when he did, we did with Jeremiah saying, Your iniquities I have turned away from you, and your sins I have withheld from you. Ain't no here perfect. We don't have sin come to the glory of God. But God still blessed us, still honors us, still protect us. My Lord, my God. And in Jeremiah 33, next says, I will cleanse them from their iniquities by which they have sinned against me. And I will pour their iniquities by which they have sinned and by which they have transgressed against me. Then I go to Psalm 6, 6 excuse me, Psalm 6, 8, and 19 says, Bless the Lord who they the Lord us with benefits. The God of our salvation, Selah. Then I go to Psalms 116, 12 says, What shall I render to the Lord for all the people's children? What should I render? What should I do? I praise him with my whole heart. And I'm saying, guys, when you're doing God's business, you give your best. I, my sister gave her best. My sister gave best. I mean, I do all the time through the Zoom. And you do your time. It's just saying, I hear my brother do something to a Zoom. You give God your business. That's one thing you don't, you don't, you don't give no help, tell, no to. You give God your business. That's right. That's right. That's right. I, got, I got an issue with being timely. When you go to your job, you're there on time. When you do something, you're on time. First thing I look into God's business, like, we get there when we get there. They will think of God in that. I get them and I get them. We be small set folks. But we want to take God any kind of way. But do that, God still bless us, honest to take care of us. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. And I'm going to leave out with this. In 2 Timothy 2 15 says, Be diligent. To present yourself approved to God, a workman who's not to be ashamed, rightly to find the word truth. Be careful to take the from because everybody, everybody's feeding that food and you're feeding the right food. Be table so you can take the from And then one thing you gotta remember is this in Galatians 6 17, do not be deceived. My God is not mine. For whatever a man sows, he will also reap. He who sows in the flesh will in the flesh be corruption. He who sows of the Spirit will spirit be everlasting life. Let us not grow, let us not grow old in well doing. For a new season. We will read, especially if we lose, do not lose all. This part I read on this part. It said, therefore, as opportunity, let's do good to all, especially to those in our soul of faith. Yes. I love that part. Especially those in our soul of faith. And I want to leave you with this. And I'm going to take it back over to Fred. God's good God, guys. He's been faithful. To everything. Yes. And I thought I will leave with this, and I know I do it all the time, but this is on my heart. Remember that cross. Remember, he paid that debt on the cross for us. Because he remember the law has three points. It has the ceremonial, civil, and moral. Thank you, sister. Moral. But when Christ died on the cross, the law of will. The law of will. And I want to leave with this. When you see that cross, each letter cross has a specific meaning. The letter C stands for Christ. 
and crucifixion too. I suffer Calvary, but Christ died for you. Our role is the resurrection. You see, our Savior rose. He triumphed over death and conquered all his own. O is for only. See, this is God's only son. He died that his father's deeds might be done. The first S is for Savior, the death on the tree, where he purchased redemption for you and for me. But the last S is for salvation. The great work was done. And God raised his trumpets for his obedient son. The church say amen. Amen. God bless them. God bless them. And so we'll back to my brother. Close it out. Amen. Give another hand clap. We thank you for that word, Minister Winfrey. Just give him the name. Yeah. You see, it's just, it's one thing when, you know, the devil don't be messing with you now because, you know, you don't do nothing. So he devil sitting around, why do I need to consider him for? He, he ain't doing nothing. Ain't no sense in me charging him with nothing. But see, when you decide that you're going to be a soldier for Christ, when you decide that I'm going to put my life on the line for this. Now I'm going to tell you right now, you know, ministers, ain't a lot of ministers who put their life on the line for this. But for those of us who will, who will say, hey, hook a crook, whatever, this is word say, I'm going to live, I'm going to die by this word. You see, the devil will try to put afflictions on you, he will try to do different things in your life, make kids act like they're crazy, make all that stuff. But God says, don't worry, I've overcome the world. He gave that Psalm 103, bless the Lord, all thy soul, and all that's within me, bless the Lord's name. Then he starts saying, bless, bless the Lord, forget not thy benefits. See, when you are living in a victorious life, when you are living and you're putting it all on the line, then those scriptures apply to you. Yes, who healed in thy diseases. Yes. See, I'm going to tell you right now, I, 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 I've seen people who was at death door. When the doctor said, you know what? Ah, yeah, man, we, go ahead and pray, minister, because that's all we got. But God raised them up. Yes. Amen. Yes. I've seen people who were broke, busted, disgusted, and, and family left, and the dog left, and everything left. But because of his faithfulness, yes, yes, yes. God restored him. Yes, Job ain't the only one. Yes, yes. You see, but God uses these people in the Bible to let us know that there is a hope. Oh, oh. Everybody in the Bible didn't have the most perfect thing going on in their lives. That's right, that's right. They all had things, murderers and, and, and whoremongers and all that stuff, but God still used them. Yes, Thank you for that message, message. That was awesome. And we don't want to take anything for granted. If you do not know Jesus as your Lord and Savior today, if you've never made him Lord and Savior, or maybe you know him, but you just, you, you know, lately it just ain't been you. You just hadn't want to do anything. And, you know, if that's you, I just pray that you raise your hand or come up to the front, come up to the front. But let's take care of that today. Let's make sure that we're all leaving out of here in the grace of God. Amen. Make sure salvation is a part of our life. If I go out here and get hit by a Mack truck, all is well. You know, I get so tired of these folk. You get saved and then they give you a list of 76 things you got to do before you can go to heaven. You know, no. When we put our trust in Jesus, when we confide our salvation, when we give our life to Jesus, it's done. Yes. Right. Amen. It's done. We're sealed with the promise. Amen. 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 
So I guess everybody in here is good. So that's all right with me. All right. Well, we're not going to hold it no more long. Any, anything else? Anything? Okay. That's right. So my wife sang very good to me. Eloquently. You can get some of her merchandise at Rhonda Dawson Minis. Okay, the Rhonda Dawson Minis. And, and you know what, man? I'm going to mess it up and y'all going to be like, he tell me to go here. Praise God, praise God. It's a blessing. It's always a blessing whenever I get invited to come into the house of the Lord and minister through song. And so I'm so very honored uh, to be here in your presence and honor those who are not here in our presence. God is still good and he's still worthy to be praised. And if you'd like to get any applied material, I have, uh, I have music out there, out there on all digital platforms. I have a website. It's called the Rhonda Dawson Minis. Dot um, I, it's under um, it's under construction right now, but you can go to that site and see some of the music that I have available. Uh, also, I have books out there um, that you can purchase. Biblical encouragement for every day. Um, it's on Amazon on Amazon site, but you can get my music on all digital platforms. Um, you can also visit again the website Laronda Dawson Minis at Wixsite.com. Thank you so much for your support. And um, hey, I'd love to be here in the presence of the Lord again the next time to worship and give God the honor and praise that's due unto him. Amen. It's M-I-N-I-S. All right. All right. Thank Amen. You. Rhonda Dawson Minis, M-I-N-I-S dot com. Well, at Wix.com. Amen. I tell you, I'm going to mess it up. But you can also go on YouTube and look her up, Laronda Dawson. And there's a, a plethora of videos and songs that she put out there. And uh, it's all good. God is doing some awesome things, and you've got some awesome people doing things in the kingdom. If that's all, everyone is in. We want to thank Brother Alex in the back there for providing our music and everything. And an uh, awesome job, sir. We really appreciate it. And Brother Bromel back there, Reverend, Bro, Pastor, Bishop Bromel. All right, hold on one second. Again, I want to thank everybody for your support. My sister, my brother, this is my brother, he know he's my brother. No. So we've been together a long time, my sister, we've been together a long time. But I would, I guess, make this quick announcement is uh, on Zoom Wise, my beautiful, my wife had my, my my queen, his queen, Levon, and sister Dawson. It's beautiful music wise. Now, I want to stress that on Tuesday nights, since Levon does Bible study on the Zoom, uh, what's the Zoom link? You know? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I might have that. Oh, call for call, 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 call something born. <laughs> <laughs> we got the number, so we just. I ain't gonna give a number now. I'm just saying. Call the route does it on uh, Thursdays, and so those two are doing ministries, and they get together. All right. Why don't <laughs> my sister for music wise bless her, take care because she's bless her. She, she's a, a peaceful singer. That's my my daughter. The Lord, that's my son in law, that's my sister in law, that's my brother in law back there, that's my other brother right there in the Lord. So, sure. I just want to just thank all y'all for y'all support for coming out and helping out. I just want to say that, and I'm taking back over to the brother Coach now, so that's how I'm going to say that. All right. Amen. You know what? He said a whole lot of stuff, but he ain't talking about himself. You know, he got a game that's out that I saw you in that interview. Uh, see, he, he don't even talk about what he does. He has a game uh, 
that's like like, like Jeopardy, right? Almost. And, and it's, it talks about uh, biblical scriptures, this biblical game, and black history. And so, uh, what is it? What are you doing? Tuesday, Tuesdays, Tuesdays, Tuesdays and Saturdays. Seven o'clock Eastern time. So make sure you, you check him out because uh, I've done it a couple of times. And I was, you know, I had to go and check my history a little bit there. Had to kind of ask Mr. Google to help run out. <laughs> <laughs> <Good job. laughs> all right. Is that all? All right. Father, we thank you for this time. Thank you, Father, for the word that went forth today, Lord. Lord, we are victorious. Lord, no weapon formed against us will prosper, Father. We will bat it down and call the lie in the name of Jesus. Now, Lord, as we leave this place, but not your presence, Father. The angels go before us, uproot and destroy anything, Lord, that the devil is trying to put out for us so that we make it, make it home safely, Lord. I prophesy that we will have a wonderful week this week, Father. I pray that we will increase on every level of our life, Father, and I pray Father, we will give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, everybody. Thank you.